Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about why you would want to feature other people's channels on your YouTube channel. Typically we would think of that as our competition and why would we want to give them that exposure to help their channel grow? But it's interesting, you're going to find out today why it is a benefit for you to do that. Now, if you're here because you want to see how to feature other channels, that's not what this video is about, but I do have another video that I did make that teaches you the steps on how to feature other channels on your channel. So go ahead and watch that if this is something you want to do. But before you do it, let's figure out what the benefits are. Now, I want to do one thing, talk about one thing before I talk about the benefit of featuring other channels. I want you to change your mindset because usually when you start to do something and you really want to be the best that you can be, we're set up in our culture to always be competing against other people who are doing the same thing. And trying to outdo somebody in this world of YouTube videos is not the way to go. What you want to do is you want to help each other. You want to collaborate. So don't see other channels that are like yours as competitors in the sense that you want to outdo each other and you want to smash them <laughs> per se, but think of them as your, someone you want to collaborate with where you can help lift each other up because it's very important in this industry to help you be more successful. And it also gives you integrity and it, it helps you give value to each other's channels. Now, when I talk about competitors, anytime you hear that word, they are called competitors, but I don't want you to have a competitive spirit. How's that? Think of it this way. Anytime you're doing something, there's always gonna be people out there that are gonna be better than you. And there's nothing wrong with striving to do as well as they're doing or even better. That's not a problem. That's that's a good competition. And and but as you're doing it, you want to cheer them on. And you want to learn from them because they have been through the same steps that you're going through now and they're successful. So you definitely want to learn from somebody that knows what they're doing. On the flip side, it's always our responsibility anytime we're accomplish anything in life, we want to turn around and give back. You want to help those that are on the other side of the spectrum. People who are watching you and they are learning from you. So there's always this process that you always have people on this side that you're helping and you're pulling them up. Think of it that way. And then you have people over here that are pulling you up. So it's, it's kind of like going up the side of the mountain and we're all helping pull each other up and, and collaborating with each other. So change your mindset. Competitor, is a good thing. It's a, a healthy competition. It's not a competitiveness where you want to outdo somebody and just totally destroy them. That's not what it's about. If you function that way, then you probably won't be as successful, I would think. All right, now let's take a trip over to my channel and let's talk about some benefits. Let's see what that looks like on our channel when we feature other people's channels. Again, I'm not going to show you how to add them or take them away, but I will show you where they are, what it looks like, and who you might want to put there. As, as a feature channel. I want you to go into your channel on the channel page, not in the video section where you um, upload your videos. And up here in the top right hand corner is you'll see a drop down and it says channel right there at the top of your channel. And that's where we're at right now on my channel. Now, if you've been on, on here very much, you know that you can customize it. You can go in and you can put in playlists, popular uploads. Each channel you go into, they look different because you have the ability to customize that. And if you go all the way to the bottom on my channel, I have a section called Featured Channels. Now I can move this section up if I want. I can put it at the top, I can put it in the middle, I can put it wherever I want. You have the ability to add the channels that you want to feature and trade them out if you want to. Now I have about 3000 subscribers and I have a limit of six feature channels that I can put in here. Um, I was looking at Nick Nimmin, for example, most of you probably know who he is, but he has a good sale there. He has over 721,000 subscribers and I think I counted 12 feature channels on his channel. So there is a system from YouTube that it has to do with how many subscribers you have. Now, why would you want to feature other people's channels? Two reasons. One, it lets you help, it helps 
other people to see who you are watching to help you to grow. And so I put um, Nick Nimmin on there because he has been like one of the first people I followed from the beginning and Simon Sinek because he has a lot of motivational mindset type of videos that I think are important that would help my audience. So I also want to look at things that won't only that aren't only helping me, but will help my audience as well. Because Nick knows more than I do. You may come to my channel and learn some things, but he knows a lot more than I do. So I want to feature him so people see, you know what, I want to grow faster than Vanessa. So I'm going to go over there and look at some of his videos as well. And that's fine. Um, I have these other ones, um, Yes to Tech. I've been following her and she's really, really good. She'll um, show you all kinds of different tech things, um, how to edit your videos and, and, and how to post on different social media places. And she has a lot of knowledge, so I liked her. Now, Tiffany Thomas here, um, Your Wealth Matters. She, I think, is important because as you're making money in your business and you're growing and growing your channel, I think we need to be educated with what to do with that income. If we just take it and turn around and only get out of debt and pay our bills, then we really have just um, continued to be a consumer and not a producer. And producers get rich, not consumers. So I, I think it's important for my audience to see that you're not only growing your channel, not only growing your business but and your mindset, but you also want to pay attention to what to do with your wealth. And Catherine is here because I just have watched her <laughs> blossom and she inspires me and I hope she inspires you as well. She's um, really worked hard um, to grow her channel. So that's just an example. Um, I, I have another one of my comments that was put on one of my channels where one of my followers said, I like to help my friends. So I feature their channels to help them to grow as well. So that is how you feature channels and some of the reasons why. And I believe the biggest reason that it will benefit you is because you're helping lift other people up. And it's going to automatically, when you give and you help others, that just naturally comes back. And if you want to call that karma or whatever, that is fine. But I really believe that that's what happens. And Featuring those other people, lifting them up will also help your audience as well as help your channel to grow. When you show your subscribers that you care about them and you want them to be successful and you're willing to do anything to help them, even by featuring other channels that are just like yours, sure, some people may leave and they may start watching that other person, but that's okay. That shows how much you care about them. And I think they'll probably stick around just because you're showing your loyalty and your integrity. Whatever you put out will come back to you tenfold. I promise you that. It's that simple. Thank you for watching and, and make sure you hit the like button and, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and I will see you on the next video.